All right, so looking at the Kentland load, probably one of the most important parts is when you load your donut roll, uh, put the nozzle that's accessible a little bit longer than the female end of the coupling. Uh, this is gonna allow you to tie in a little bit. So there's two trains of thought on this. One is to carry it like this, where you can control the nozzle as you take it out. So this one you put on your right shoulder, right arm, as you get ready to pull it out, you take it and you sling it and you hold onto the nozzle. The other is kind of a, the opposite way. Um, you would actually do it from the top down. Um, and this one, the nozzle would be underneath and you'd flip it over the top. Either way works. My preference is to have the nozzle on the top like this. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna set that aside. We got our hose bed tray here. And we're gonna start by putting a horseshoe load with some hand grabs. So this first one, we're gonna dog ear. This one is to clear the hose bed immediately. So this is basically just gonna dump everything on the ground. And you continue on with the horseshoe load. Now, depending on how much hose you're carrying on this, uh, it works pretty well as a 150 foot. Now, most of what we run is 200 foot. So we're gonna set this one up for 200. So what that means for us is we're gonna continue with the load. Normally you put another full here, but we're gonna get a solid 100 and, uh, I mean a solid 75 feet in here before we cross over. So we're getting ready to cross over once he finishes that side up, yep. And we're gonna do, coming back with our second stack. And I'm gonna put my other hand grab right here. And what that's gonna do, that's gonna be the dog, in, uh, dog ear that I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna extend out when I go out. So we're almost to our male coupling here. We're gonna keep going until we get to the male coupling. Now at that point, we're gonna get our uh, donut. And so this is where you wanna consider the way you're gonna deploy it. I like the nozzle on the top. So since we're gonna deploy it with the nozzle on the top, I like to set it in so I can pick it up put it under my shoulder I can grab these and go but if you like to deploy it the other way with a nozzle on the bottom you place it in this way but we're gonna set up for ours with this technique what you're gonna do when you deploy it you grab this section and you're gonna essentially lock onto this when you let go and just hold on, release this portion down here with these three fingers, clamping it with those two. Yeah. All right, so deployment on the Kentland load has a couple advantages. This is probably one of the more unique loads in that we have a donut roll. That donut roll is gonna go under my arm and then I'm gonna clear my hose bed. I've got essentially two dog ears here. Uh, this one, I'm gonna come in, that one goes a little higher. We clear the hose bed with this. So one large jerk pulls the whole thing out. This basically is gonna tighten immediately. My hose bed's clear, I'm gonna drop this and extend this out. Once I get to where I wanna go, then I've got my donut and I'm gonna throw that out. There's two ways to do it. We'll talk about that uh, in the loading video. I like the nozzle on the top. So here we go. First thing I do, get out of the rig, take the nozzle, I'm gonna fit it under my arm, come over, and this is where I clear the hose bed. One big tug clears the whole thing. It looks like a mess, but right here, I've got that section. I immediately drop that, and we start pulling.
when you throw this out is realize you want it to go if I'm let's just say I'm going over here I want to go ahead and make sure that I turn the opposite direction and then I deploy this out the opposite direction so I'm going to take it I'm going to throw it what this gives me is an advantage that now I've got my 50 foot my first coupling right there my nozzle's ready to go in and so that's the Kentland load <laughs> 